Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a wired or wireless computer for your bicycle here. This one particularly is wireless, but the same applies for a wired, but with a wired, you're just gonna wire it up, zip tie it until you cleanly go around your brake cables up to the top here. But again, this one is wireless, but the same concept applies for mounting the sensor, the spoke magnet here, and then the computer on the top of your handlebars. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. So a rule of thumb after watching a couple and doing my own research is some of the professional bikers, they like to mount it down here. Now I am gonna be mounting it down here as well. And so what we wanna do is, it's up to you, but if you wanna protect your carbon fiber forks from potential scratches, I would lay down, if your bike computer does not come with it, a very small strip of electrical tape to go ahead and whatever electrical tape color you want to go ahead and lay your sensor on top of it so that it doesn't have any scratches with the zip ties or rubbing or whatnot. And also the same professional bikers did mention, it's up to you, this is optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on where the right side, see my brake cable on the front brake, the brake cable is entering in on the right hand side of the front wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the sensor on the right hand side of my. My computer did come with some black zip ties, but it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and blend it in with red, if your forks are red, white. Again, the body, my frame is white, but my carbon fiber forks up front are the carbon fiber color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use black and that will blend in just fine. For the wired guys, it makes it a lot simpler to go up with the brake cable here. So you can wrap around the wired one all the way up here, vice versa, okay? So for the wired ones, you definitely want to do that. Now for the wireless ones, which I have right here, you can do either side, guys. It doesn't matter at all. You can put that one over here on this side. You can do everything on this side. It is totally up to you. Wired, you probably wanna go up the side with the brake lever cables. So you can wrap it around a little bit more cleanly to be a little bit more stealth. All right guys, as we can see here, the zip tie goes around these little notches here and here of the sensor, and it's gonna be pretty much the same thing on a wired one as well. I have electrical tape underneath the zip tie here and underneath the sensor laying this way here and another strip right there where my finger is, but you can't really tell with the carbon fiber black like that, so it's very nice. Blends in nicely. And then we're gonna go ahead and before we tighten it up really nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything looks good and clean. And then we'll go ahead and snip these ends here. And so let's go ahead and put the bottom zip tie on now. All right guys, now this is our magnet that is gonna go around our spoke. Yours is probably gonna look similar to this. As we can see here, there's a little notch right there on the left hand side. That's where you want your spoke to go. So go ahead and take, unscrew this right here slip it on the back of your spoke, and then go ahead and put the magnet, again, facing towards the sensor. As we can see here, guys, this little notch right here is where it needs to line up with the magnet. That's where your sensor is. So you wanna make sure that your magnet is right in the middle of that area, that little arrow there, or a little notch, as your magnet comes around on your spoke there. So what we're gonna do now is it looks pretty good, it looks nice and leveled up with that. Again, as we can see there, it looks fantastic, guys. Go ahead and come back over here for a closer look here as we can see our electrical tape down here. We still need to tighten it a little bit tighter and clip the ends right there. And what's nice about the sensor on this side of the wheel and the forks is because going this direction, as the wheel spins clockwise this way, if this were to bend in towards it, it would actually push it out but if this sensor was over here like this, it could actually get caught in the wheel, potentially damage your rim, you know, who knows, do some worst case scenario than that. So it's always nice this direction, because if it goes in this direction, the spokes are gonna clip it and it's gonna push it out with the momentum going forward. So you always wanna have it on the right hand side, in my personal opinion, and after doing some research of my own. So we look good with the little magnet, we look good with the sensor. Let's go ahead and clip these long zip ties on the end here and here, and then we're gonna go up top and mount the All right guys, to be a little bit more stealth, I put the ends of the zip ties right here, the little square things here. Now again, we're still gonna clip those off, don't worry about that. But I put those little square things to the inside so that when you're looking at the outside of the fork, you cannot see that. And so I just push those around to this area here. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our little clippers. Of course, scissors would work, but I have some nice clippers. And we're gonna get as close as we can to the square and we're gonna go ahead and knock it off there. And so 
There we go. Now if you want to get a little bit more stealthy than that, it's not too much more we can clip off, but that's how you do it there. Alright guys, for this part here, we have again the computer here. We have the computer mount here for your handlebars, which is like this here. Some might come with some little kind of foam area here that you can just go ahead and lay down without sticking anything to it. Mine actually come with a little double-sided foam tape here. So what I would want to do is I want to put that down right there wherever you want to mount it. Now, it's up to you guys. If you prefer the right side or the left side, I got this over here. Everything is on this side. So it's just kind of visual statistics, whatever you guys want, if you want it on the left or right. It is totally up to you guys. But I already have this here, so I'm going to go ahead and make it right on the right-hand side. Some people, some of the professionals, whatever side their front brake lever is on, they want to have it on that side. So I'm front left, so it's up to you if you want it here instead of here, so it's up to you again. So first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the mount down here, making sure it's in the right order meaning that once I slip the computer on, the computer faces the right direction. Then the zip ties go through the bottom area there, and we'll go ahead and latch that on and get a shot of that in just a second. And before you do zip tie it on or push down so the double sticky tape gets nice and sticky, you wanna go ahead and just sit on your bike and make sure that you can see the proper angle or whatever you want. Mine is very slightly tilted back towards me, not completely flat there. And so now I'm gonna take the last two zip ties right there we're going to go around the bottom of the mount here let me get a close-up shot and we'll show you what that looks like here in just a second as we can see there there is my slight incline there facing me and all i do is i just push this little button right there the computer slips off if i need to change the battery very simple guys there we go guys as we can see here is the double set of foam tape there smash down zip ties right there and again stealthily the squares of the zip ties are pointing up I removed the computer, clipped off the ends there, slipped the computer back on. We're looking absolutely fantastic. Now guys, lastly what you need to do of course is test it to make sure everything is functional. Spin the front wheel, make sure the miles per hour or the kilometers per hour is set correctly. But then lastly what you need to do guys is each computer will be a little bit differently of course because it is their own computer. You need to do the tire circumference chart. So what you want to do is you want to look on the outside of the tire and you will see the size of the tire. So right here, mine are 700 times 23C. So then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your chart and your chart will tell you exactly what input you wanna to do to your computer so that everything is registered correctly. As we can see on my tire chart right there, we're gonna go down to number four, 700 times 23C and I would input 2096 circumference into my computer. And then also over here, if you're mounting it on, let's say a mountain bike, then you wanna go ahead and use inches because your tires will most likely be in inches. Here, this computer actually goes up to 29 inches for the newer mountain bikes, which is awesome, all the way down to 14 inches for like a BMX bike. I'm not really sure why you would want that on a BMX bike, but some people might. So guys, that is it. So input your tire circumference into your computer, whatever one you do. If you guys are interested in this wireless computer, I will go ahead and link it in the description box below this video, and I'll link it where you guys can pick it up. You guys, hopefully this video has helped. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up so other people can find it and help them as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, and I will see you guys on the next video. Be safe out there, and happy cycling, guys. Bye-bye now.